So we have a very exciting set of programs that fall under the kind of the umbrella of summer nights at the museum. And so today I'm going to have a conversation with Anna in this segment. And so Anna will introduce herself shortly. But I want to just set it up, Anna, by saying that, that this program is very interactive. It's very kid, child friendly, and it's also very family friendly. So first introduce yourself, Anna. Tell the community who you are. And also talk about how you got to this museum, how long you've been around, and then move right into a discussion on summer nights at the museum. Of course, uh, thank you. Well, I'm Ana Garrigos Herbert. I'm the community engagement specialist here at the museum. I've been volunteering with the museum since 2018, but I came into this position in January of this year. Um, and what I do in this position is part of the community engagement team and we are a pretty big team. We have our, our docents and we have um, our director Rene Ballesteros um, and my role is to uh, manage some of our programming, uh, most of our programming really. Um, so I'm in charge of our Sunday speaker series and summer nights and uh, going forward we have Dia de los Muertos in, you know, later in the year, things like that. Um, but. Yeah, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed my time working with the museum. Um, and a, a, a couple of things you said there that, uh, that strikes me as a little bit curious. You said the word docent. Yes. And so for people who may not know what a docent is, if you can explain what a docent is, the function of a docent in a museum. And also about when you say we have a pretty good sized team, how many people are you talking about here? Yes, yeah, so docents, our docents are the purveyors of knowledge. They are our gallery hosts here. And um, we, we, without them, I don't think we would have such successful events. Um, and and they tend to be young, right? Yes. I mean, not all of them, but that they tend to be, uh, you know, college students or you know, young people, maybe 19, 20, 21 year olds, 22 year olds, yes. who who often lead in the tours when school children come. The docents are leading the tours. Yes, correct. I myself used to be a docent actually before I came into this position, but. Um, I feel like the docents are really valuable and, um, you know, they, they really make, they really make our events and our team is about 16 docents, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty big team and, um, I think I definitely want to include them when I talk about our, you know, community engagement and, and how we make that, you know, relationship with the community possible through our team members. So summer nights at the museum so this is this already has an established history here this this program i think you mentioned that was founded sometime around 1910 19, 2000, 2010 we're we're Wait, a history a museum yeah. but that 1910 jail is is, is another thing yeah. but in 2010 roughly as a way to to really encourage children and families to come out during different times yes yeah, so maybe it, also inspired by that movie you know the, what was the name of that movie the summer nights at the museum summer nights at the museum or, 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 night, night at the museum, night at the museum. yeah um and so so talk about that and, and what is going to be like this summer uh well yeah so it's a decade long long program um and we usually have um, sort of like a scavenger hunt set up. So we have all these different activities that are themed to each of our galleries. Uh, and uh, each night, there's three nights, right? Each night is a different uh, gallery. So it's our River Frontier, River Highway, and our River Crossroads galleries. Um, and we have, you know, history themed events. We have these hands-on activities, we have living history, we have, you know, our costumed characters, our docents are, you know, dressed up to the eras. And um, I feel like it's, I, I know it's a family favorite for sure. You know, it's, it's a bit of a family adventure. Uh, and each night we also do a, a drawing. So if you complete, you know, a certain amount of activities, then you get um, put into like a raffle, right? For a grand prize every night or a prize every night. And then if you go to three, the three nights that we have, then you get drawn into the grand prize drawing. Um, so if you want to actually uh, do that, I recommend that you get a friendship. That's like a great way to, you know, get your family in, uh, save a penny sort of deal. And uh, also you get to go into all of our uh, events, you know, for free, right? With your covered uh, annual admission. But 
yeah, so each each night is going to have that, and we're also going to have puppet shows. And we actually have puppet. Did yes. you say puppet? Yes, we, we have, have puppet? puppet shows. So oh we God. actually have a special guest with us today oh. uh, from our newest uh, puppet shows that we have. So Tex. That's right. Did someone say my name? Hey, Anna. It's my friend Anna. Hey, who are you? Oh, what? 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 Francisco is my name, and your name oh. is? Did you say Tex? Yes. Yes. Tex, do you bite? Oh, no, only sometimes. Oh, okay, okay, all right, okay. <laughs> but so, I wanted to invite everybody to my special puppet show called On the Great Western Trail. Have you seen it before? Uh, I have not. Well, you got to come out to the second summer nights because that's when we're featuring my story of going up the Great Western Trail. Right, Anna? Yes, that's right, Tex. Wow. Hey, Tex, I have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, are you a longhorn? Are these horns long or short? Uh, I, I don't know. Are they long, Anna? Relative to us? <laughs> I they look long, they're longer than, yep, they look long to me. And yes, I am a longhorn. My name is Tex Hardy. Obviously, I'm Texan too. Hey, Tex, another question. Yeah. Have you done this before? Done what? The, this, like, the summer nights at the museum thing? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's one of my favorite events at the museum throughout the year. I get to see all types of people, tell my story, and have a lot of fun. And so how do kids react to you or respond to you? Oh, kids are great. They love talking to me, and I love telling all these great things about living on the cattle trail. All right. Well, Tex, hook him. Hook him. That, <laughs> yes. Let's go orange. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Tex. So, Anna, Bye. is there any, any last information that you want to share specifics? I think you yes. mentioned already, but the, maybe you can reiterate dates and times. Definitely. And... The, the dates are June 10th, June 24th, and July 8th. These are extended hours for the museum, so it's from 6 to 9. Uh, if you want to pre-purchase your tickets, you can visit mosthistory.org to get more information on our tickets and admission pricing. Um, and Or you could text uh, tickets to 956-300-4999. Thank you, Anna. Thanks so much. And, and thanks for you know, not only the creation of the 2021 Summer Nights at the Museum and your participation with it, with the team, obviously, but, uh, but also for all your work and for coming out here and, and telling the community what this thing is about. Thank you. Thank you.